Okay, now we start to load the ink to the ink tank and the ink damper. Before we load the ink, we can start to power on the machine. After the machine powered on, then we go to the right back side of the ink tank. If you are the first time to uh, load the ink, so the ink light will be on because the ink is empty, no ink. So we need to load the ink to the ink tank. We take, let's say for example, first we open the cover and put the ink. I must be sure, you must pay attention to the ink, the color flow for the each tank from the Left to right is left magenta, left cyan, yellow, magenta, cyan, black, and uh, vanish, and white. Then we start to load in. We find out the ink that from focus digital and we put for for prevent the ink spread out to damage the printer or or make the print dirty. We use the tissue to take it like this and shake it to make the ink not settling. And then we open the cover. And we put the ink to the tank and when the light is off then we can we can stop to load the ink the light is the ink level detect the light don't put too much ink to the tank load about two thirds for the total volume Then we put back the cover. Must be must pay attention to that. The cover cannot fasten too much. We 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 fasten it. Then we go back about. We load it to make the air can be go through inside. If if you are fasten it, the ink we cannot go through. We cannot uh, cannot go through to the damper. So we must uh, loosen a little bit. All the ink tank the same. Like this, to make the make the air can go through inside to make the pressure, to make the ink have pressure to flush into the ink, ink damper. So load all the ink by the same way. Okay, after we put the ink to the ink tank, then we start to load the ink from the ink damper. You need to load the ink from the ink damper by the injection. If you are the first time to load the ink, so before we load before we load the ink from the damper, we need to power power off the machine. We need to pop off, and then we find out the ink damper. It will have a ink label mark on the tuber inside. You can find that for find the ink ink mark for each color inside and also you can remember that the ink flow for this print head all are for totally six ink damper this all are for white ink and this six all are for vanish and this one this is six print ink damper from left to right is the left one is black So this one, the first one is black, cyan, magenta, light cyan, yellow, and light magenta. The, this is the ink flow.
color flow. So don't load in wrong ink or the printing picture, the color will not origin. So then we can start to load in from ink damper. We take the last one, let magenta for example, we take out in damper. Must pay attention to that. You must hold the ink damper by right this way. The back and front side. We take out and why we cannot why we cannot hold it like this? Because here is the breathing bubble. It here have an ink inside. If we push down, the ink will be flushing out to make the print head or print the dirty or damage the printer or print head. So you must hold in damper by this way. And then we check if the the ring, the screw are fastened well and this switch is connected well already. Like this way. After that we connect the injection to the damper and load the ink out. We load about two salt, about three to five milliliter ink. And right now must pay attention to that we cannot we cannot to release our injection immediately. Must waiting for the injection no pressure automatic stop. If if it's not if it's, if the ink damper if the injection still have pressure but we release our hand, the ink will be the air will be flushing back to the damper. So the damper will have have air inside. So it will be cause print uh, effect print quality. So make it automatic stop, then we release our finger and take out And right now then we can push put the ink damper a little bit down and check if the ink can be dropped out. If the ink dropping out, that means the ink damper broken or leaking air or the fasten position are leaking air or the ink tank lack of ink. So we need to put more ink on the tank and check the connection and then load again. It's no dropping ink, then we can push back, put back the damper to the print head. We also hold by this way and install back. Also for safety, we need to put the paper at both sides of the print head cable position to protect, to prevent if, if the ink drop into the cable and flush into the the connection port to cause the print head damage. So also we load the ink by the same way to load the each color for the color print head. Then we load the ink for white ink and varnish. Here we must pay attention to the varnish and white ink because the white ink and varnish varnish ink tube. It's all awful because this same is the same color. So we transit one big tuber to two divide to two tuber and then connect with two ink damper. So if we load if we load one ink, ink damper, we need to block another one to per, to prevent the air, the ink and air go through to this damper. So then we then we load and not and also we must use another new injection the load ink just load about three to five milliliter and also the same way we cannot we cannot release our injection immediately, but waiting for several seconds, so waiting for the injection automatically have no pressure and the release, and then put it back to the to the print head. 